morning and welcome to the vocational nursing pinning ceremony for summer 2021. Thank you all for coming this beautiful morning. I would like to congratulate all of you who are here in attendance for your hard work and dedication through this year long journey. We would like to include our appreciation for all family members, parents, siblings, significant others, and friends who supported these individuals through their schooling. I would like to also introduce to you the LVN faculty. I have Ms. Edna Ramirez. She is an instructor at Silva Magnet High School. I have Ms. Kathy Longo. She's an instructor at Bel Air High School. With us this morning also is Ms. Rebecca Morgan. She's an instructor at Silva Magnet High School. Also with us this morning is Ms. Brenda Bueno. She is an instructor at El Paso Community College. And we have lots more, however, due to illnesses and other factors that came into play, they were unable to join us this morning, but they really wanted to be here. I will now introduce to you Ms. Edna Ramirez. All right. At this time, family will begin by pinning of the candidates. Candidates and family, we will call the names as they are listed on the program. Once you hear your graduate's name, family members who are pinning the graduate, please proceed to the stage as well. We're going to ask you to please come over to the right side. There's grass as opposed to this side, which you might get a little muddy. Deal? Yeah, they're your left side. First, we have student Natalia Trochet. She will be pinned by Hannah Alor Jones. No, go that way. Next will be Cristian Padilla. He will be pinned by Lorraine Padilla. Thank you. 
Next, we have Ms. Clarissa Sosa. She will be pinned by Mr. Frank Sosa. Congratulations. Next will be Ms. Maricruz Avila. She will be pinned by Mr. Fernando Avila. Next will be Ms. Diamond Penwright. She will be pinned by Mrs. Sarah Penwright. Next, we have Ms. Abigail Alonso. She will be pinned by Mr. Ruben Alonso.
Next is Ms. Leanne Alvarado. She will be pinned by Ms. Araceli Alvarado. Next is Ms. Julie Anguiano. She will be pinned by Mr. Patrick Anguiano. Next, we have Ms. Wendy Baker. It's a possibility she not, might not be with us today. So we'll move on to the next person. We have Ms. Jane Buchman. Buchman. She will be pinned by Ms by Ms. Maria Gonzalez and Bryson Buckman. Next, we have Ms. Maria Jose Diaz. She will be pinned by Ms. Carla Vela.
Next we have Ms. Heather Fountain. She will be pinned by Mr. Devin Fountain. Next, we have Ms. Saira Gomez. She will be pinned by Ms. Elva Rascón. Next, we have Ms. Brisa Gonzalez. She will be pinned by Ms. Macrina Gonzalez. Next, we have Domini Guillen. She will be pinned by Marianne Guillen.
Next, we have Andres Hernandez. He will be pinned by Araceli Corrales. Next, we have Ashley Hauser. She will be pinned by Shad Hauser. Next, we have Jenna Jimenez. She will be pinned by Javier Gonzalez. Next, we have Aide Lopez. She will be pinned by Ashley Ramirez.
Next, we have Ms. Gia Moreno. She will be pinned by Stella Moreno. Next, we have Graciela Ortiz. She will be pinned by Misael and Luz Elena Ortiz. Next, we have Mr. Christopher Saran. He will be pinned by Irma and Emilia Saran. Next, we have Stephanie Torres. She will be pinned by Eddie Oropesa.
Next we have Daniela Valverde. She will be pinned by Roel Lopez. Next, we have Danielle Wilson. She will be pinned by Monica Wilson. Next, we have Teresa Valenzuela. She will get pinned by Juana Martinez. Congratulations to all of you. Graduates, please pick up your candle and lamp from your chair or beneath you. Uh, as we get ready for the lighting of the lamps, please come and stand up in front of the stage. All the graduates with your lamp. Facing the crowd, guys. Yes. Yes. Let's yes. move down this way.
So lighting of the lamps is a symbol of our duty to selflessly tend to the sick or wounded, no matter where we are and no matter the time of day. It is a symbol we cherish as it represents a single moment in history that defined the courage, honor, and selflessness of a single nurse as she searched for soldiers in need of assistance with only a candle to light her path, Florence Nightingale. The lamp will always shine brightly as a symbol of the care and devotion nurses give to the sick and injured to the practice of nursing. So as Mrs. Ramirez guides us in reciting the nurses' pledge to service, we will pass along the flame, bringing each other into the fold of the nursing community. Candidates, if you can please repeat after me. Before God and those assembled here, I solemnly pledge to adhere to the code of ethics of the nursing profession, to cooperate with the other members of the nursing team, and to carry out faithfully to the best of my ability, the instructions of those who supervise my work. I will not do anything evil or malicious, and I will not knowingly give any harmful drug or assist in malpractice. I will not reveal any confidential information that may come to my knowledge in the course of my work. And I pledge myself to do all in my power to raise the standards and prestige of practical nursing. May my life be devoted to service and to the high ideals of the nursing profession. Candidates, if you can please blow out your candle. If everybody would please join us for the nurse's prayer by bowing your head. Give me strength and wisdom when others need my touch, a soothing word to speak to them. Their hearts yearn for so much. Give me joy and laughter to lift a weary soul. Pour in me compassion to make the broken whole. Give me gentle, healing hands for those placed in my care, a blessing to those who need me. This is a nurse's prayer. Amen. We can now have the president of the Student Nurse Association, Natalia Troche, come up, please.
Coming to this podium is Ms. Natalia Trochet. She's the president of the Student Nurse Association. That's right, you guys would have had your first patient if I would have tried to jump it. <laughs> well, good morning, family, faculty, and a special good morning to the class of 2021 licensed vocational nurses. <laughs> Thank you all for being here today to celebrate our biggest effort for the last year. Well, class, we've come to the end of our long shift at EPCC, and if we've been taught anything, it's the value of charting and documenting. So let's briefly document the last year of our lives. I won't take too much of your time. We started first semester through a pandemic. Boy, what a road that was. <laughs> Transitioning to online everything was a battle, at least for me. <laughs> Figuring out how to prioritize all of our tasks was a battle. And dedicating all of our time to our studies was probably the biggest battle that we had. However, we did pull through. Second semester, we were wiser, stronger, and ready, on, ready to take on the world. Then, med surge came around. <laughs> and then med surge two came around. <laughs> we were distraught, tired, and horribly confused as to why our answer wasn't the most correct answer. <laughs> However, we eventually also pulled through. Third semester, new campus, new teachers, new expectations. It was rougher than we all imagined. But well, we were right there, it was the last semester. And of course, since all of you guys are joining me here today, we pulled through. As we look back at all the steps that we took together and where we stand now, it's clear that we learned to take care of our patients by first learning to take care of one another. I feel incredibly honored and proud to speak on behalf of this class because we are truly one of a kind. And although being surrounded by determined, ambitious, and sincerely helpful peers, which made our goal of becoming nurses reality, the real masterminds behind our success was truly our faculty, which some of them are not here today. The faculty that challenged us, encouraged us, encouraged us stressed us out over our grades, probably more than we did. <laughs> and they taught us values that go far beyond care plans and NCLEX strategies. You are the nurses that we aspire to be. Thank you for holding us to the highest standards of excellence to make, make sure that we reached our goals to our full potential. Thank you to our families, our loved ones, and our close friends that supported us with food, shelter, and gave us a shoulder to cry on and ears to lash out at, even though we completely ignored you guys for 12 months. <laughs> and now to my fellow graduates, if you remember anything from this morning, I want it to be this. You are all amazing. Life is your destiny and what you make of it. Take chances. Don't ever think that you can't do something because you can, and you guys have proven that here today. And don't ever think that you're too old to make a big change in your life. The goal that seems too hard to climb for is probably the goal that we should fight viciously to obtain. So if it's one thing that I must say is don't stop here, guys. Let's keep going. Thank you for your love and support throughout this entire year. I know I wasn't one of the best classmates <laughs> to deal with. Thank you for the late night study sessions and early morning encouragement when I most needed it. To my friends who I got really close to along the way, thank you for everything, for Starbucks, for McDonald's, <laughs> for Burger King, for all the places that we could possibly find Wi-Fi at. And to every single one of you, thank you so much for being you. We've always been told, if we didn't document it, you didn't do it. So now that we documented it, guess what that means, guys? We did it! <laughs> Thank you so much. Once again, congratulations to all the candidates. Thank you for all for coming. I would also like to extend a thanks to the people that helped us put this together. Audio, El Paso Community College Television, and the folks that opened up the bathroom.